Daniel chapter 3 Nebuchadnezzar the sovereign made an image of gold whose height was 60 cubits and its width 6 cubits. He set it up in the plain of Dura in the province of Babel. And sovereign Nebuchadnezzar sent word to gather together the viceroys, the nobles, and the governors, the counselors, the treasurers, the judges, the magistrates, and all the officials of the provinces to come to the dedication of the image which sovereign Nebuchadnezzar has set up. Then the viceroys, the nobles, and the governors, the counselors, the treasurers, the judges, the magistrates, and all the officials of the provinces gathered together for the dedication of the image that sovereign Nebuchadnezzar has set up. And they stood before the image that Nebuchadnezzar has set up. Then a herald loudly proclaimed, To you it is commanded, O peoples, nations, and languages, that as soon as you hear the sound of the horn, the flute, the zither, the lyre, the harp, the pipes, and all kinds of instruments, you shall fall down and do obeisance to the gold image that sovereign Nebuchadnezzar has set up. And whoever does not fall down and do obeisance is immediately thrown into the midst of a burning furnace of fire. So as soon as all the people heard the sound of the horn, the flute, the zither, the lyre, the harp, all kinds of instruments, all the people, nations, and languages fell down and did obeisance to the gold image that sovereign Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Thereupon, at that time, certain Kazdim came forward and accused the Yehudim. They spoke and said to sovereign Nebuchadnezzar, O sovereign, live forever. You, O sovereign, had made a decree that everyone who hears the sound of the horn, the flute, the zither, the lyre, the harp, the pipes and all kinds of instruments shall fall down and do obeisance to the gold image. And whoever does not fall down and do obeisance is thrown into the midst of a burning furnace of fire. There are certain Yehudim who you have set over the work of the province of Babel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men, O sovereign, pay no heed to you. They do not serve your Allah hen, and they are not doing obeisance to the gold image which you have set up. The Nebuchadnezzar, in rage and wrath, gave orders to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And they brought these men before the sovereign. Nebuchadnezzar spoke and said to them, It is true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you do not serve my Elohim, that you do not do obeisance to the gold image which I have set up. Now if you are ready, when you hear the sound of the horn, the flute, the zither, the lyre, the harp, the pipes and all kinds of instruments and you fall down and do obeisance to the image which I have made good but if you do not do obeisance you are immediately thrown into the midst of a burning furnace of fire and who is the Allah who does deliver you from my hands Shadrach Meshach and Abednego answered and said to the sovereign O Nebuchadnezzar we have no need to answer you in this matter for if so, our Allah, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning furnace of fire, and from your hand, O Sovereign, he does deliver. But if not, let it be known to you, O Sovereign, that we do not serve your Allah, nor do we do obeisance to the gold image which you have set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar was filled with wrath, and the expression on his face changed towards Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He responded and gave orders that they heat the furnace seven times more than it was usual to heat it. And he commanded some of the strongest men of his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and throw them into the burning furnace of fire. So these men were bound in their coats, their trousers, and their turbans, and their other garments, and were thrown into the midst of the burning furnace of fire. Thereupon, because the sovereign's order was urgent, and the furnace exceedingly hot, the flame of fire killed those men who took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound into the midst of the burning furnace of fire. Then sovereign Nebuchadnezzar was amazed and stood up in haste and spoke and said to his counselors, Did we not throw three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said to the sovereign, Certainly, O sovereign. He answered and said, Look! I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire. They are not burnt, 
in the form of the fourth is like the son of Elah. Then Nebuchadnezzar went near the mouth of the burning furnace of fire. He spoke and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the Most High Elah, come out and come here. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came from the midst of the fire. And the viceroys, the nobles, and the governors, and the sovereign's counselors gathered together, seeing these men on their bodies, the fire had no power, and the hair of their head was not singed, nor their garments changed, nor did the smell of fire come on them. Nebuchadnezzar responded and said, Blessed be the Elah of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his messenger and delivered his servants who trusted in him, and changed the sovereign's order, and gave up their bodies, that they should not serve nor do obeisance to any Elah except their own Elah. Therefore I make a decree that whoever of any people, nation, or language who speaks any wrong against the Elah of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, his limbs shall be taken, and his house made a dunghill, because there is no other Elah who is able to deliver like this. Then the sovereign promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babel.